Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishash. I welcome you all in my channel Tanmay Kim. Today's topic of discussion is one MCQ and the question is in front of you. I request you please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get, please write in the comment box. I believe we have tried, so let's start. Question is which one is maximum acidic in nature? So four options given, four are actually phenolic derivative. And here acidic means who can release proton maximum efficiently. The pro if proton releasing efficiency is actually dependent on the stability of the anionic inter anionic part of which is called as conjugate base. And remember the thumb rule, more the stability of conjugate base, higher will be the acidity. So acidity will be higher. Okay. Now, in order to get it, we need to draw the conjugate base of R4 structure. Here actually O hydrogen from this OH group will be released and it will produce the corresponding phenoxide ion which will be stabilized. Now here if you look at actually main comparison is phenol versus fluorophenol. This fluorine could be ortho, it could be para or it could be meta. And now a simple thing, what is actually the effect of fluorine? It is student electron withdrawing group. Although you can say, sir, in fluorine, there are actually three lone pairs of electron. I agree. And this could be donated. Agree. So actually, in this case, this donation is called plasar effect and which is less dominant. I mean, actually here dominant is minus I effect or sigma withdrawing of fluorine. Now, so consequently, this fluorobenzene derivative you can expect is less electron rich compared to benzene. Fine. So, fluorine shows minus I effect withdrawing. So, what will happen if I compare uh, phenol versus fluorophenols? So, obviously, fluorophenols will be more acidic. Why? Because, the, because of the withdrawing nature of this fluorine, the conjugate base will be more stable. Now, so who is more acidic between ortho, meta and para? Remember, student, in case of fluorophenol, so minus I is dominant, means sigma withdrawing. And this minus I if works most efficiently if the distance between this oxygen O minus and fluorine is minimum. So according to this logic, in ortho isomer, the distance between OH and fluorine, fluorine is less. So only two carbon distance. In case of this meta isomer, three carbon distance. And para isomer, four carbon distance. Increasing the distance effect is faded. So consequently, we can conclude that option C or orthofluorophenol or 2-fluorophenol should be maximum acidic. Now, who is minimum acidic? Obviously, phenol itself. Now, the experimental proof of this concept is presented here by the pKa value. Remember one statement, lesser the pKa, higher the acidity. Now, whose case pKa is least? Obviously, 2-fluorophenol or orthofluorophenol. PK 8.7 and who has PK maximum? Obviously phenol itself 9.9. .9. Now what is the order of acidity here? Obviously option C is more acidic than B which is more acidic than option A and which is more acidic than option D. So this is the relative trend of acidity of this fluorophenol derivatives. Okay so one point I need to mention student if you want to compare this fluorophenol with chlorophenol, remember chlorophenols are more acidic because in that case, vacant d orbital can participate in stabilizing the conjugate base. But for fluorine, there is no vacant d orbital. So such kind of stabilization is not possible for fluorine. So the answer of today's question is option C. So this is the end of the discussion. I believe this video may be useful. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.